don't know what it is, check it out. Competitive gaming for uh, for hardcore battlefield clans. Should be a good matchup. I'm uh, super stoked to see what happens here. First map is going to be Rogue Transmission. Conquest Small. Last Marine putting up a good numbers, 32 and 19. Looks like Boss may be a little more evened out as far as the kill death goes. As far as getting kills. So it should be very interesting. Looks like all teams got everybody in. And uh, it's about to fire up. That's a crappy free cam. We'll grab some free cam here. See. Kind of get an overview. See how each team's come out of the gate. Looks like we're going to have Boss in Russian blue. So that means that we will have the UKSF guys in red. Waiting on people to ready up. I'm sure each squad leader is going over a few different things with the team. Letting them know what they want them to do. Where they want them to go. Who's killing what. One. One. And four. That's an odd setup to have a couple of guys in their own squads. Well, we'll see what happens here. Boss, looks like they may have lost a guy. Which may be contributing to the not readying up. Give them a few minutes and see see what happens. Looks like they're mi mixing the former HBIA guys with some of the uh, veteran boss guys. you got Niger and uh, Rad Daddy Ducky in here with Southern Chick. mistaken I think Cambo may be their helo pilot which would be why they're in a, they're in a squad together but I'm not 100% sure on that I'm still missing a guy over on the boss side of things <coughs> oh and here we go it's fired off both teams coming out of the gate Got one tank for the uh, boss team moving down toward Alpha Charlie. The other one going to Delta. Looks like UKSF got a little low start. They're also sending a tank down. Down into Bravo. So we should see a pretty good tank battle here on Bravo. Let's see if we can't go ahead and uh, jump in on that tank battle. Southern Chick. Both tanks on Charlie. Southern Chick may be in trouble. She might get the pick on the one. And she does. The other one's going to fire at her, though. Hopefully, her repairs got her. It does not. She goes down. 
southern chick hits the ground. Oh, yep, silver dag. And Cambo rolling that attack helo. Yep, he's got Cambo flying. He's going to go ahead and hover cap alpha. That's a little risky. Gets a spot on the jet, gets a rocket out. He's going to pop flares. He's going to go out of range. He's got some ground support there, so it's pretty safe to say. Looks like they're tied up right now. Got Alpha. No, uh, yeah, Alpha Cats by Big Boss. Bravo Cats by, uh, by UKSF. Now UKSF has a two cat, Bravo and Charlie. Cambo taking shots from that jet. Heavy presence there on Charlie. Looks like UKSF has snuck around and got a tank back here on Alpha. He's got a contact moving up on his six. I'm not sure if he's aware of that. Looks like he is. My groups hiding, rolling back. Plays it smart, pull up, taking some shots from the chopper though. Cambo doing some work on the tank. Got Smithy Bull Tack, I'm guessing is what he's gonna go by. Niger gets some C4 on him and goes ahead and takes him out. Niger picking up one for his team. Still got a still got infantry there on the ground, takes himself out at the same time. Got you know the spell anchoring for his team here. Running the G36C. Got the magnifier two times. I enjoy rolling that. Ergo grip, heavy barrel. Not a bad loadout. Not a bad loadout at all. Sounds like he's got something moving in on him here. Then he does. He's got an enemy tank. It's going to be Southern Chick. She's looking for him. She knows somebody's there. She's rolling solo in that tank. So that is odd. UKSF. Nice two of the four bases. Brad Dad Ducky comes in, helps her out. <laughs> Got another tank on the base as well. Infamous stalling up in there with him. Niger, he's rolling one of the tanks as well. They're going to go ahead and secure up Alpha, but they've, uh, they're have they going to start bleeding tickets, and UKSF is going to start bringing it in. Gonna try to get a pick on that chopper. Moving into Delta right now with the tandem tanks. They've got a lot of ground support there on uh, on Charlie. Mines in the ground C4. They have spotted them, so they're going to go ahead and move in. This tank is probably going to wreak some havoc in here. And they are. Niger doing work for the team, coming in, getting the burn on Charlie. Takes two rockets in the back. That's going to hurt him. And another one. He Hits that active protection. He's taking shots from all kinds of directions. Tanks coming in, rockets coming in, locks coming in. Looking for him. He ends up going down. Got mines hitting the ground. DMD. Foxhound rolling that tank, trying to stop the burn on Charlie. And he's going to successfully do it. They've got plenty of mines down, and it looks like Boss gets wiped off of Charlie right there. That is a much needed burn for the UKSF guys. If they secure that flag, that's going to give them two and tie it up so that the ticket bleed will slow down. Got another tank moving in. Southern Chick also taking rockets from the South Hill. And there it is. Big Boss moves back in and starts taking the base again. Medium bloke. Running that JDAM bomb. He's been doing some work in this. I've seen a lot of shells coming down from this. It looks like he's going to try to line up. Not sure where Southern Chick went in that tank on Charlie. up that JDAM, seeing if we can see anything, does not. <coughs> got Fox and then moving in on Delta. Looks like UKSF is going to control Delta. They've also got Bravo. But he's taking shots. He gets dropped by Unstoppable Thumb, pushing in. 
They're going to secure Delta. They're going to get the three cap and initiate the ticket burn on boss. That Raptor UK trying to pick up a snipe and does. Takes out Scorpion with a nice headshot right on Charlie. They still do not control Charlie, but they've got the Overwatch. Multiple infantry pushing in and they're burning it. However, boss is burning Alpha and Delta back out from under him. It's kind of, it's kind of going back and forth. <coughs> but they're definitely putting up a good fight here. And UKSF is uh, is going to get Charlie back, but at the same time, Boss has got Alpha and Delta, so it's two and two. So it's purely based on kills right now as to who's going to bleed the tickets for who. And it looks like Boss just also got the cap on Bravo to bring up that three cap. They're going to go tank, tank. We've got Smithy Bolt right here in the tank. Rolling with Foxhound. Getting those repairs in the tank battle with Niger. I'm sure he's going to have repairs as well. Got multiple infantry moving in. He sees him. Doesn't know what to do. Hope he's calling out to his repair. And he does. Take him out. He's got two tanks and he is done. Foxhound goes down at the hands of uh, NDA Gert. For the RPG. Medium bloke still rolling around in that jet. He may end up needing to hit in the ground though if uh, Boss continues to maintain the majority of the bases as they are currently. That was fun. Spots him two guys. He needs to get a little higher on that. His bullets are dropping a little too low. Not sure if he noticed that or not. Oh, gonna get a pick on Major Bricks. Still too low to get that beacon. Oh no, he gets the beacon. Takes the beacon out, doing work for his team. Excellent job getting him off of Delta, but I believe he's just a little too far back to do any good all the way back in the spawn here. He's going to get that beacon, but it's not going to contribute to the burn. That Saunders, a little spread out over here on the, uh, <laughs> on the UKSF side. Last Marine, we saw him. <laughs> previous uh, in the burn round doing very very well he goes down he's currently five and seven not doing as well in the match keys of 2012 trying to do some work for, for his team here on on Delta flag spots him a couple of guys not able to drop anybody just yet and there he goes it's Bong Man right in the face. Looks like UKSF is going to maintain control of Delta and Charlie. And again, it's a 2 2. <laughs> Looks as though Boss, however, is currently burning Charlie. In with Cambo. Running the Ump 9. I like the ump 45 personally. But to each their own. Losing the burn on Delta, it looks like. He's got a couple of contacts or a contact moving in. It's gotta be somebody else here though for him to be losing that burn. Do not see though, just see the one contact. Must just be contested. Oh, we had a squad bomb here on uh, <laughs> here on Charlie. UKSF making a valiant effort to take it. <laughs> Boss trying to fight back, but there's just too many infantry. They're gonna fully secure Charlie, but it does not matter as they do not have Alpha Bravo or Delta. So Big Boss is going to continue to bleed those tickets. However, UKSF has picked up that attack chopper. He's going to do some work with it. He's catching fire from the anti-air. But that will significantly help their team. Got a tank moving up into Charlie. Heavy infantry on that tank. 
Southern chick in enemy territory, big time. Getting some help from the anti air. Gonna roll back. And some more infantry rolling in. Southern chick goes down <coughs> with a rocket. And they've got some infantry moving in. Do not see the guy on their flank. And he picks one up, Kiza. Saunders, and they quickly clear off Charlie, but again, they do not have the majority of the bases. Looks like they're making a push toward Bravo, though. Gambo's going to pop in to help defend Bravo, but they've got a lot of infantry here, so... Gambo making a good call, picking up Hitman, stopping him from getting that anti-air. Stopping two from getting the anti-air. Boss me. Boss does. Boss picks up the anti-air, and that's going to really help him out. Gambo in trouble. Got a guy in the oil pit. Two guys in the oil pit get dropped by the last Marine. Nemesis grabbing up that um, anti-air and moving out of Bravo. Decided he did not want to mess with all that infantry. Going to get some support from Southern Chick moving into Bravo in that tank. Let's go ahead and jump in with, with her and see... See what she's got going on. She should be able to pick off a good amount of infantry here. She sees them. She's also going to roll back out of uh, a Bravo. Go ahead and let them have it. They've got a comfortable lead, so they can wait until they get some backup. Got a tank right there next to her. <coughs> and she go ahead and she drops it. Southern Chick takes out <coughs> takes out Foxhound, but Kiza 2012 comes in and uh, drops her with an RPG. Infamous Stalin coming in, <laughs> picking up a straggler coming out of Bravo, up into Alpha. Gets dropped by Kiza, he's still alive down there. In with Rad Daddy Ducky, providing some infantry support for Niger from the tank there, rolling back down into Bravo as they have lost it. <laughs> They're also currently losing Charlie. He's got a guy on his left. He's going to spot him. Niger comes in with the main battle tank. Sends a rocket his way. Shuts him down. And it looks like UKSF has abandoned Bravo for the most part. They've got a couple of guys running around. Red Dead Daddy Ducky getting a nice pick on eyeballs. <clears throat> but he gets dropped by you know the spell. Niger quickly answers back and go ahead and drops him, clearing off that Bravo flag. Not much in there. I don't believe they're going to move to cap it unless they lose a guy. Handy. Oh, dropping Sosa with a rocket right to the top of his head on Delta, trying to anchor for Delta. Almost getting a pistol pick. But does not get grenaded by unstoppable thumb. That spawns up on the top. Gonna take it in the back. Unstoppable thumb getting another one. Foxhound gonna roll into Delta to try to do some work in the tank. A lot of infantry. I believe he has a guy on his six. Two tanks rolling into Delta. They may be able to secure Delta. But Boss is making a push on Bravo. And they may end up taking Bravo. They've got a tank, three infantry moving down in there. Fat Penguin taking out Raptor UK. Rolling that M416. Like the gun. M416 is a really good gun. I dig it. I like the magnifier. Uh, <coughs> I try to roll the magnifier on my guns. Gives you that little extra when you need it. They're going to roll in. And, uh, they're taking Bravo currently. You're going to get sniped by Raptor 2K. Scorpion goes down. NDA Gerst on top of the map here. Or on top of the dish. Still burning Bravo, though. Looks like it went stale on him. Mr. Sosa back on Delta on for his team. Gets a revive. Picking up a kit. Nice teamwork there. Fat Penguin pair shooting back in. He's going to go head to head with some guys here on uh, Charlie. He's got a lot of infantry here. Pretty brave man going in solo. 
Got multiples out in front of him. He may be in trouble right here. He's gonna wing him a... Oh no! Gets knifed by Saunders. He's gonna go ahead and take those tags. Absolute King is gonna try to come back in and revenge him. Misses the shots on the guy, but he's gonna get on the burn. And play for the team. Taking some sniper shots, not sure where he's coming from. Gets a beat on him and drops him. Tunnel Rat, 1972, goes down at the hands of Absolute King with a nice little shot there. For those of you watching the stream, you can check out a dual stream right here with Free Mason Knight. He is also casting at the same time. You guys can hear me in here. Somebody go ahead and say something in the chat just so I make sure I'm not just talking to myself here. Looks like NDA Gers is going to pick up, you know, the spell off of Charlie. And the underside of Bravo runs into a guy, just drops right in there. Two of them do. Nobody sees it. We need a call out on that, fellas. Fat Penguin goes down due to the lack of call out on that one. Absolute King is in there. And it looks like this one is going to go to boss. <laughs> they, uh, with a pretty commanding victory, 207 over UKSF, but uh, I have to say they put up a pretty good fight. Nice. All right, good deal. They did a pretty good job here, UKSF. Looks like they're capping it out at the end, but I don't think it's going to help them. They have stopped the bleed, but two tickets to 205, it's uh, highly unlikely that anything is going to come to this. Absolute King was doing some work there on Bravo right there at the end, so there it is, first round. On the first map, going to Big Boss Gaming. Summing up, Hitman doing a lot of teamwork for his team with that 6-21, and 21, but still on top of the scoreboard, obviously running some teamwork, some support there. We've got Double Doe 706, 12 and 15. Likewise, run a lot of teamwork. Big scores over here, 10,000, 12 and 5. Gerst, Unstoppable Thumb, Rad Daddy Ducky, Niger, all doing really well. 20 plus kills. Last Marine, doing well. Picked it up at the end of the match there, doing 21 and 16. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Got Raptor rolling out with an even 18 and 18. 19 and 21 by Saunders. Looks like Big Boss just got Absolute King dropping that 31 bomb. I, I, I believe that uh, several of those kills were right there at the end of the map with that Fleer Scope. <laughs> and they have fixed the server, so that's excellent. Second round, Rogue Transmission, UKSF and Big Boss Gaming. We should see Big Boss in the red here and uh, UKSF in the blue. Let's see if they uh, change up their strategy this time and see if they can do something a little different to uh, to pull out the win on this one. So for all you viewers, who do you think is going to take it based on that first match? you think it's going to go all the way to boss, or you think that uh, UKSF is going to pull it out? you think they're going to come back? <coughs> think they're going to adjust their tactics and uh, do something a little different? Twenty-one guns says boss. He thinks boss is going to take this one. What about you, pandas? What do you think? I think UKSF made a made a good push, but they were just. Uh, just kind of scattered. Here we go. Countdown's done. Everybody's going to start firing off. And we do have UKSF and Russian Blue and Big Boss and Chinese Red. It looks like they're going to roll both of their tanks together so far. No, nope, they're going to split them. UKSF is splitting their tanks. And Boss gets some guys on the flag really, really quick on Charlie. 
And Charlie's going to go to Big Boss right off of the bat, but they've got a tank coming in. They should have some tank support moving in. They do not. Their tank support is not moving in. It's over on Delta. So they very well may take this base right here. Try to get over there. Big Boss manages to get the chopper, but I believe that uh, the UKSF just took that chopper out. They're still having a hard time holding this flag. A lot of infantry. Hitman in the main battle tank with DMD as his gunner. Hopefully sees that other main battle tank sitting there and starts getting some shots on him. That's Niger up in that tank and he can be devastating if they get up in there. Looks like they're going to start getting the burn. Big Boss off to an early lead with a three cap. Of the three bases, but again, UKSF is going to be taking it back. They're losing their back flag though. Or it is being contested. So they better get a grip on that back flag and uh, <coughs> in here with Tunnel Rat. We'll see. We'll see what Tunnel Rat does. Still being contested. No, he's got people on the flag. Just does not know where they're at. Has an idea. Spots one. He's going to go ahead and get a pickup on Bond Man. Tried to make it a two-piece. Was unable to. Unstoppable Tom went ahead and shut that down. Hellspawn is going to try to back him up. Pushing him back him up. Does not know where they're at not realize they're right below him but it looks like UKSF is going to go ahead and burn that flag back plus they're also grabbing Bravo and they have secured Charlie so they are in a good position to uh, get a nice little three cap here and hopefully bring that back a little bit Hellspawn saw a guy parachute not too sure where he's at gets a beat on another one can't seem to get over the wall though taking some sniper shots get the beat on a guy go ahead and drop double doe 706 sees another one and takes him out too. Bongman's down. So they're going to maintain control of this and get a three cap. <laughs> they are losing. They're losing Charlie. They've got Saunders pushing in solo in here on Charlie, which, uh, which he may be able to do is they don't have very many bosses and I have very many guys on Charlie as well. He is. He's going to neutralize it, but he gets dropped <laughs> by Cambo. Jaka Dan is going to move up into Charlie, try to help support them. But it looks like UKSF has two guys on there. And they are burning the flag. DMD got him positioned on the roof. He's going to hold here. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. He's burning. He's just going to keep it like that. Getting a spot on that jet, helping his team out. But again, they're losing Alpha again. <coughs> Big Boss has a, has a heavy force on Alpha here. Got Unstoppable Thumb. Taking shots. Looks like Sosa snaked that kill from him. But it's all for the team, so they're good to go. <laughs> oh no, Smithy Bolt. Tech coming in in the, in the havoc and doing work. Tunnel Rat coming in and wiping up a few more. Major Bricks anchoring for his team. Losing the flag out from under him now. He's got too many people there. Big Boss has a couple of guys posted up on the tower. He's got a stalemate and now he's, he's burning the flag back. He is burning the flag back. So they're going to keep the three cap. Now, Big Boss is going to maintain that three cap over UKSF. UKSF is bringing up their tank, so he gets a spot on Southern Chick with some help from the chopper. Smithy Bolt takes it out. <laughs> We're near man. Hitman running solo, following up Foxhound in the, in the main battle tank. They're gonna roll right. They're gonna roll right on past, uh, right on past Alpha. Hitman's gonna pick up a piece right there. Double Doe going down at the hands of Hitman in that main battle tank, moving in on Charlie. He's got it marked. Some of the squad to get up in there. They've got the anti-air and a tank on Charlie. So they're going to try to burn that back. <coughs> and they've also gained control of Alpha. So UKSF is, is making a push to get back in the game. The ticket count isn't that much different. 317 to 312. They are definitely holding their own. Got multiple infantry in front of them. Got DMD jumped in in this gunner to help them out. And they are doing work. They are just slaying people here on Bravo Flag. 
need to get up in that burn. He hits the active, that rocket's not gonna do much. It's got some traps set up ahead. Don't know if he sees him yet or not. Besides, he's gonna roll in and let his gunner do a little work on that guy. Unable to get him, there he goes, finally gets him. That was fun, taking out Thom. They're on Bravo to get the burn for their team. <coughs> he's gotta see the ground littered with traps. Trying to get a bead on that. What's he got on his on his loadout? Rolling the staff shell. So it does not have a main gun. Hellspawn gets dropped by Major Briggs. He's close by. <coughs> Eyeball Paul comes back in, giving him some reps. Oh, nice shot. Taking down Niger. Coming into Bravo with the tank. So they're going to go ahead and they're going to secure that back up and take the lead. UKSF has taken the lead from... Uh, <coughs> From Big Boss. Big Boss is down by about 10 tickets now. They, uh, they're contesting Charlie. But UKSF is making a nice push. And we're going to have a tank battle right here on Charlie. That's going to determine who controls this base more than likely. <coughs> We've got Foxhound up against uh, Southern Chick. With the Boss Gaming. She's a very good tanker. She's taking shots. Foxhound giving his side up right there in the beginning. It's going to hurt him a little bit. And his repair goes down. That's not good. Southern Chick's hurt. Foxhound takes out Southern Chick, and he's going to do the right thing. Roll back into that flag and, and start getting it burned. He's got some friendly mines in front of him. He's just going to go ahead and take those out. Multiple infantry, but he's going to start doing work. Takes out infamous Stalin. Foxhound laying it down right here on Charlie. Takes out Scorpion. And burning the flag for his team, a really nice move right there by uh, Foxhound. Real, real power play to bring that tank in and just, uh, just destroy that base. Big Boss making a hard push back on Alpha, and they're also grabbing up Delta as well. <coughs> UKSF is going to have to work to get this done. Career Soldier getting dropped by Unstoppable Thom, followed up by Saunders. Go ahead and picking him off. Saunders spots him another one, gets a few shots in the back, but not enough to able to drop him. Got a friendly coming in on a parachute, gets dropped. Saunders go ahead and cleans him up, bong man, so they're going to hold on to Alpha, maintain their lead. They don't have the majority, but there's no ticket bleed on either side, so it's purely the kills that are determining who's winning right now, and right now UKSF has the lead. Um, they're slowly gaining too, and it looks like they're also going to be burning Delta with a small infantry force. They've got a boss as a tank position just right off of Delta. Kiza gets a spot on a guy but goes down with the hands of Scorpion. <laughs> so Big Boss is going to maintain Delta. Looks like they're also going to be burning Charlie. <coughs> with a heavy force on Charlie. Boss has a big force on Charlie, and they're going to clear it up, and they're going to get that three cap. That is really going to hurt UKSF um, if they maintain the three cap right here, and they've got a strong foothold in here, so it's very possible. Got a couple of guys parachuting in, shooting rockets. Stalin's going to go ahead and drop keys of 2012 out of the air as he parachutes in. So they're, they're bound to have a beacon somewhere. Got another guy spotted. Coming in, two guys coming in. Got that silencer, so his range in there. A little late on the repairs, and Niger goes down <coughs> by medium bloke in that frog foot. Looks like UKSF has control of the air right now. Um, they're gonna want to get control of that ground. Boss is uh, is closing the gap right now. <coughs> Got a visual on that anti-air. He's going to start putting some shots into it. Got it disabled and takes it down. Nemesis goes down. Medium bloke. Doing some good work in that attack jet for his team. Looks like we've got a bunch of bases contested right now. Big Boss got a strong foothold on two of them. The other two are kind of up in the air right now. Bloke doing some circles. I don't know if he's got somebody on his tail or if he is just, uh, just trying to get a feel. Foxhound up in Delta. Got a spot on a guy. Rocket narrowly misses him. But he's going to burn the flag. He's going to burn Delta flag. See how they got Charlie. They are tied up exactly. 
Bosch just narrowly takes the lead. He, as soon as he gets a cap on this flag, that's going to neutralize the ticket drop. And they're tied back up. This is a close match all the way around. UKSF coming out a lot stronger in this round than they did in the first one. <coughs> Fighting on Delta right now. He's got a gunner, Smith Bowl. He's going to need to bail out and get those repairs, and he does not. So he goes down at the hand. That could be devastating for them because it looks like Big Boss does have a have a large force there in uh, there in Delta. So they're going to maintain control of that flag on Delta Southern Chicken. There, Silver Dag looks like he's uh, he's pinned down by a tank. It's going to be the the anti air right in front of him gets a rocket mobility hit taking shots from everywhere gonna repair to him goes down the hands of career soldier saving the btr right there nice move by career soldier tunnel rat pair shooting in on alpha here which uh which is a pretty good move if he can get it cleared it's gonna be uh it's gonna really help his team out tied up again <coughs> as far as bases go 2-2 two -two cap ukSF Still in the lead, narrowly, but still got the lead. And they're on the alpha flag. Got a call out, there's a beacon somewhere out there. There's a spot on him, dude, he spots him and he goes down, Major Brick takes down Andy. <coughs> Hellspawn comes in and clears him out and that's gonna initiate the burn on alpha. And uh, UKSF could get a three cap here and really cause a problem for boss if uh, the boss doesn't get some guys in there. Looks like boss is fighting it up on Bravo. They've got one tank against a lot of infantry. Infamous Stalin in here on foot helping out his tank. Knowing that they got some infantry, must have been a call out there. Tank taking some damage. Stalin's gonna get close, try to grab that gun. Probably needs a bell out repair. He took a couple of shots, but it's too late. He goes down C4, last Marine. <laughs> taking out himself, but taking out the tank. I would say that's probably a solid trade-off right there. So that is gonna give UKSF, the three cap, they are losing alpha, but with that tank and I air and that couple infantry over there, I don't think it's gonna be long before they uh, before they secure this flag back up. They are currently losing the flag due to the infantry. Big Boss coming in with the helo. Rad Daddy Ducky picking up Hellspawn with that Star H. <coughs> Andy's got a big on him, hiding behind the four-wheeler. Snake spot right there, really nice. Unable to get the pick on him. But again, UKSF still up by about eight tickets, I believe. Oh, he's got two men right out of his front. It's going to go down. Niger picking him up with the AWS. <coughs> Tunnel Rat anchoring for his team here, holding the flag, doing what he needs to. He's going to get that three cap, which is going to initiate that ticket bleed, and it's going to be a problem for Boss. They're going to need to grab something else. They are currently not contesting anything else but this flag, but they're taking it hard right now. Mr. Sosa taking shots in the back, gets him a health pack down. Goes down at the hands of Tunnel Rat. Anchoring for his team, picks it up. Bong Man dropping in. Oh, gets dropped by Tunnel Rat. Tunnel Rat doing some more work. Unstoppable Thumb getting him from the outside. Sees a couple of them, picks him up. <coughs> gets dropped. Raptor UK gets the snipe on him. Major Bricks coming back in, dropping a little C4. Goes down. The hands of Andy, he gets a spot on him. Double DO coming back to push out for UKSF. Has the fucking three cap on, on Big Boss. They've got the three cap there. Bravo is being contested by a tank, but UKSF answers back. They've got their own tank up in there. We've got Hitman in here firing shots in. <coughs> On the tanks, got Niger out in front of him. Caesar's repair running back in, unable to snake him up. He's got his repairs on him, so it should be a pretty good battle right here with these tanks. However, oh, goes down. Niger takes him out in the tank with a little support from the helo right there. Eyeball fighting it out on Charlie. Looks like he's running solo here. Gets a pick on Absolute King. Gonna roll around that helipad and see if he can't get that dude that was shooting at him. Taking shots from directly at his 12. Gets the visual on him, goes ahead and drops Nemesis. Eyeball Paul doing some work. We're a team here on Charlie. Gonna, <coughs> gonna go ahead and keep that flag for him. Get the revive. 
Nice work from his team. I think he jumped over, dude. No, he did not. I was mistaken. So they're going to keep it 2-2. They're not holding the majority, but they're also not losing the majority. Southern Chick in the main battle tank here are going to try to snake Charlie out from under him so they can get that 3 cap and try to get some of those tickets back. UKSF in the lead by about 30 tickets now. A lot different than the first round. They've already closed the gap in which, um, <coughs> in which the boss won by. However, keep in mind it is already over for UKSF on this map as they cannot beat the 207 ticket count that boss had at the end of this round. However, they are showing their prowess as they come back and fight back. A loss does not mean nothing to these fellas. I don't care what you say about the UK. These guys have heart and soul all day long. Niger doing some work in the tank here on Charlie. Big Boss comes in and just wrecks it with a five cap. Big Boss gets all of the bases currently. We're gonna have to see how they answer back for this one. Got Cambo rolling this attack helo. We've seen him supporting his team with this uh, a good amount of the match, so we're gonna see what he does right here. Rolling hydras and heat seekers, flares and stealth coating. Gets a beat on a tank and drops it very, very quickly. His gunner silver dag getting in there. <coughs> Looks like they spotted a beacon, taking the beacon out. Good work by that team to ensure that they don't get in there. Looks like UKSF is pinned down. No, that five, that five cap is making them suffer. They have currently lost the lead, and those tickets are draining very, very, very quickly. Cambo stopping for a repair real quick. Smart move. Keep his chopper up. Gonna get back up in the air. Boss has them in a bad position right now. They're gonna need to get back behind them, and it looks like they have. Looks like they've hit up on Bravo. Gonna go ahead and take another beacon out, stop them from parachuting in. And that is gonna be devastating for the uh, for the UKSF guys, this five cap and, and the helo support that boss has up here. Sees a beacon, takes another beacon out. Those beacons going down like that are gonna hurt him as well. It looks like UKSF slid back behind him and got that Bravo cap which was a smart move, but honestly, I just don't know if it's enough. They are gonna have to do something really serious right now in order to get this back. Kembo taking shots. Gonna go ahead and hide, let those flares recoup. He's got a main battle tank pushing up on Alpha. He's got a beat on him, he's gonna move in. <coughs> He hits up his active, which is going to save him. Bambo's going to swing around for another run. Active protection is gone. Probably will wise him up right here and does. Takes out Foxhound. Solid move. Tunnel Rat just trying to do something with his, for his team. He's grabbing the uh, quad here, going around far outside. No, he's going to push on Alpha here. Got a tank out in front of him. Southern chick coming in. Completely misses with that rocket. Spots him a guy. Misses him too. And then we get smoked by Double Doe. <coughs> All right. Well, they are pushing back. UKSF, man. They are pushing back. They've got the two cap. They're pushing in on Charlie. Last Marine trying to get some snipes in. Got a guy in the crate, knows he does. Yeah, looks like Big Boss is gonna mop up here on Bravo. Go ahead and resecure that flag, which is gonna give him a three cap. Now they're, yeah, they are gonna get that three cap. Mr. Sosa spotting a beacon, taking that out. Spots a guy in a quad. Does he get the shot? He does not. Unable to pick him up. 
However, this one here is going to go to Big Boss Gaming. Five tickets left. Friendly grenade going to take out Sosa taking out Unstoppable Thumb with a grenade. Just the uh, reality of hardcore here. Mr. Sosa taking out Tunnel Rat but getting dropped by Kiza, or by Andy, excuse me. And there you have it. <clears throat> Not as big of a victory on that one. Big Boss takes it with 90 tickets. So that's going to go to Big Boss, the first map. But I'm really excited to see UKSF answered back really, really well on that map. So, uh, so it should be pretty, pretty good. <clears throat> all right siege of shanghai is this next one a little bit different map but uh let's see how how the teams do here Alright, what do we got here? We've got Big Boss, US Blue, which is going to put the UKSF guys in, uh, in the red. So, we will see how they play this. Going to see some little bird fights going on here. Should be interesting. Should be interesting. And we're off. Both teams move very quickly. Looks like UKSF is bringing their chopper up a lot faster than uh, than Big Boss did. Big Boss kind of hanging back with their chopper. UKSF is gonna is gonna get some guys on Bravo really quickly and probably take that Bravo cap. And here comes here comes uh, Big Boss and their chopper. You got Cambo and their chopper. Multiple infantry sees a lot of the infantry. Takes a shot. He's picking off a couple. Probably wants to focus on that chopper. He gets window. Cambo gets window. Silverdag takes over, but the choppers are on top of him. He's going to fall back, wait for his guy to come back. But that chopper is going to pursue him. He is all over him. He better get a spot on him so that anti-air can take him. He is lighting him up in their spawn. NIR is hitting him, but he takes him out. And he gets struck at the same time. It was that medium bloke. Yeah, medium bloke takes out their chopper. And UKSF off to the early lead with the two cap. Multiple infantry up on here. Fighting on the burn on Bravo. We've got Bongman up top for Big Boss doing work. They're going to start burning this flag. Bongman getting a spot on some guys, get some shots on them, and able to take them, but they're burning the flag, and that's what counts in this, is, uh, is securing that flag. Mm -hmm. 
major bridge up here as well. There it is, Big Boss. They uh, control the, the majority, Alpha and Bravo. They've got it under control, so they're going to start burning those tickets and and narrow that uh, that gap. And they've got infantry parachuting down onto, uh, onto Charlie, so they're going to secure up Charlie, try to get a three cap. But looks like Foxhound has got his tank up in the bottom of Alpha and going to go ahead and start burning Alpha. <laughs> and Alpha is going into the hands of uh, of UKSF. Looks like they're also fighting valiantly on Bravo. They're losing Charlie, but if they can get Alpha and Bravo out from behind Big Boss, then they're going to be doing very well. Both of the choppers are back up. Medium bloke does not see the chopper right on his left. He's going to get the drop on him. A couple of shells in Cambo coming in on him hard. Medium bloke answering back. Cambo with two repairs. And he drops him. He's got one repair. They had two. And uh, he go ahead and takes him out. Switching to second seat to get some double repairs real quick. Just to make sure his chopper stays up. Nice move by medium bloat. And Hitman in the chopper to secure that. And UKSF grabs it. They've got Alpha and Bravo. They're going to go ahead and uh, take the lead right about now by one ticket. UKSF has just gained the lead of this match. And uh, that was very impressive by medium bloke and Hitman with the chopper work. Looks like they're losing Alpha. They've still got a tank there, but they're going to be in a fight with another tank. Foxhound still on the bottom of the flag, just devastating everything down here. Losing the flag out from under him. Really based on, on the amount of infantry and in, uh, in the tank that's up top. But he is, he is dodging shells left and right. Infamous Stalin goes down at the hands of him. Still more guys everywhere. Multiple infantry all over the tank. It's amazing that he is still up and going. Gotta take your hat off to this guy right here. Just doing work down here. He needs this guy. He's getting the repairs. Much needed repairs. And however, they are going to burn the flag. They're going to burn that flag. And UKSF may get a triple cap on these bases if he can hold out there. And they are. UKSF is going to come in with the triple cap on boss. Um, and they do. They maintain the triple cap, and that's going to hurt boss. That's going to hurt boss real bad if uh, if they maintain this three cap on boss. This is very very impressive from UKSF, uh, especially Foxhound down here in this tank, man, doing some work down here, uh, maintaining this flag for his team. Uh, Big Boss is coming in with C4 rockets, additional tanks, but it being down in the bottom right there, you can't really get a hit on it, so it is just doing some damage down here. Uh, very, very impressive. Hellspawn uh, holding down the Charlie base for his team. Saunders up on Bravo. <coughs> Last Marine doing some sniping here. Looks like they've got some infantry support coming down in onto Alpha from Bravo. Uh, which may not have been a good call as uh, Boss is pushing up onto Bravo pretty hard. Taking shots though, taking a lot of shots. Uh, it goes down at the hands of medium bloke in that chopper. Mr. Sosa got three, four in front, goes down. The hands of Jackadan. Bongman coming up in the chopper. Wait a minute. Bongman, I do believe, yes, Big Boss has taken the chopper from UKSF. Followed up by Big Bongman, you've got Cambo in the other chopper. They're probably going to do some work here. Again, UKSF still maintains Alpha and Bravo, or Charlie and Bravo, excuse me. But Big Boss has two choppers. I expect to see them go to work with those two choppers and, and uh, use them to the best of their ability and, and regain control of Bravo. However, I do not see Bravo contested. I'm not sure what they're doing here. However, they are contesting Charlie, but Bravo is still firmly in the hands of a UKSF. <coughs> Hitman trying to get some shots in the chopper. Taking some fire yourself. All right, Bravo is now getting burned. We've got some big boss infantry on Bravo. He's got multiple contacts in front of uh, medium bloke. 
wanting to get that chopper down, mad because he lost it, not happy about it, and just lost the Bravo flag out from under him. Just too many guys floating around. Oh, almost gets a pick on that chopper pilot. You know he is hurting right now. So big boss <coughs> grabs the majority. If they can go ahead and burn it here. Hitman picking up one right there, going down by Absolute King, getting shot right in the back. You know the spell, trying to get a shot off on that helo. Gets one out and gets the mobility hit. Southern chick getting a beat on a tank that's moving back into Alpha. She's going to need to stop that tank so that they can maintain the majority and uh, whittle those tickets down. <coughs> UKSF to a lead of about 70 tickets now. Give or take a couple. Tank is dropped back down. Foxhound doing what he does again, dropping back down on the bottom of the flag. Southern chick really doesn't know where he went. Big boss, we've got some guys dropping down in with C4. But it looks like Big Boss is going to go ahead and give up that Alpha flag and focus on Charlie. And they're going to go ahead and grab it up. Fat Penguin picking up Tunnel Rat. <coughs> Rolling the SAR. I really like the SAR. SAR's a good gun. Magnifier again. Love the magnifier. Muzzle break. Really good setup. Taking shots in the back, though. NDA Gers gets a spot on a car coming in, gets a rocket on it, doesn't do any good, hits the sign. And they're going to start losing that Charlie flag, which they cannot afford to do. They've got a firm hold on Bravo. Looks like they've lost their chopper. I imagine that's probably medium bloke in the chopper. And it is. And he's following up, who I can only assume is Cambo. Gets a vehicle mobility hit. He's going to drop in and try to finish him off right here. Sees him go underneath. Nice move by the pilot on the boss team to drop down under there, but he's wise to it and drops down on him. Cambo pulling out, getting his flank, getting some heavy guns on him. Heck of a fight right here. Gets up above him. And the fight is real medium. Bloke has no repairs, no repairs. I don't know if he just went down or what, but he has no re repairs. Cambo, go ahead and takes him out. That's really gonna benefit that team, but again, not having that chopper on Bravo has cost him. Sunder supporting his team there on Bravo. Bravo's going to come down. Good play by Boss to bring Bravo down. <coughs> Tunnel rent. I'm Charlie for his team here. Bravo's back up now that the building went down. It looks like Boss is going to maintain control of that. If they can hold Alpha and Bravo, they can continue to pull that back. They've closed the gap a good amount. Um, and it looks like they're going to be burning Charlie as well. They've got a tank moving in, so uh, Big Boss may not last very long on Charlie, but they're definitely going to make a move on it. Smithy coming in. Going to... Uh, Gonna get Charlie back for his team. Oh, but gets dropped. Absolute King with the sniper rifle coming in there and getting him. <coughs> SSR trying to roll over a friendly tank, uh, enemy tank right on top of him. Gets him disabled. Bong man pushing up under him. Oh, takes it out at the cost of his own life. Big Boss maintaining a two cap now. <laughs> on Alpha and Bravo, Charlie's being contested by UKSF right now. Big Boss is going to go ahead and pull that flag back. Gambo coming in to help his team out on Bravo. Try to recap that flag. Charlie is being contested. Gambo got the guy out front. Takes him out, and career soldier goes down. <coughs> Cambo rolling two repairs. Sees a sniper. Getting hit from that pickup. Takes out Raptor. Got some infantry support rolling in behind. 
times two. Boss very well may get this flag if they can keep this push on here. They've lost Charlie, so again, UKSF has a two burn, but Boss is going to answer back and grab this Bravo flag. And Boss has taken the lead. They're in the lead by uh, a little under 20 tickets. And uh, it has been going back and forth this entire match. Very, very good display of teamwork by both teams. <coughs> Jackadan coming into Bravo to try to uh, try to help him out. Looks like Big Boss is uh, was making a little push on Charlie. Didn't pan out. Jackadan takes out Mr. Sosa. Get some help from Career Soldier taking out Double D. And UKSF is going to... Uh, it's still losing the flag, I believe. Yeah, they are still losing the flag. They've got too many guys here. I think Jacket Jacketon is the only one on the flag, and he gets dropped <coughs> for the G18. Raptor picking some people off here on Bravo, trying to help his team out. It's contested. No, he's burning the flag now. Got the sniper rifle out, spotting a tank, no doubt calling that tank out. Running solo here, running solo, burning the flag. Raptor UK, doing work for his team, got skies all around him. But just staying anchored, and he's going to grab it. He's going to, oh, it just got contested. He's got a beat on him and goes down. Unfortunate, Mr. Sosa comes in and goes in and cleans him up. Jockadon, though, backing him up on his... Backing him up, getting the rocket out. He's got he's a little in vain. He ends up going down at the hands of Thom. Thom taking out two guys right there. Saunders still in there. Gets a beat on Thom. Able to take him out. Oh, it's actually Double D with the headshot. Saunders anchoring for his team. They've got to get more guys on him, though. He is burning the flag. Oh, sees him. Takes out Bong, man. Saunders and his team doing work on Bravo. They are going to go ahead and maintain Bravo. However, they no, they are not losing Charlie. They are gaining Charlie. The chopper coming in and doing work. They're ready for it with some stingers. He gets a shell out. <coughs> but Cambo's going to get those flares off. But he does have to fall off the base, base and allows them to maintain control of two objectives. So they are going to start burning it back the other way. Big Boss is going to start losing tickets now. And uh, right now it's still anybody's game. It looks like we've got a large infantry force pushing up onto <coughs> up onto Bravo. Unstop Unstoppable Thumb and his team is pushing onto Bravo right now, and they're going to start burning. And they've got a heavy infantry force pushing in on here. And uh, <coughs> looks like they're going to start burning that flag and, and recap it. So uh, it's going to be a short-lived victory for. Uh, UKSF on the Bravo flag. Unstoppable Thumb going down at the hands of the Hitman. Oh, they got the flank on him. UKSF answering back, coming back in on the base right now on Bravo. Uh, with Heavy Force, going to take it back, doing what they need to do. Eyeball Paul here getting the health back down, holding, burning the flag. Shots coming in, but they're going to grab this flag back. Losing some guys behind them, the hitman. Contact comes out right in front of him and just wasting Bong Man going down. Had no idea Eyeball Paul was, was anchored behind that corner, but they're going to grab the flag back. Hey, Eyeball taking some shots, sees the guy, goes down, makes a brick, picks him up with the AWS. The last Marine is still up in here. Gets the knife. Picks out Major Bricks with a knife. Gets the three-piece. Picks up Bondman, Major Bricks. Doing some work. DMB going in covertly. Navy SEAL style with the shotgun. Pushing the beach. Going to get the flag back. But they are losing Alpha, however. They decided to drop back onto Alpha. No, they gained Alpha. They're going to get the three cap right here. And they do. UKSF grabs the three cap, which is what they needed. This is awesome. This is what they needed to bring this back. The tickets are dwindling for the boss guys. They are going to have to make a move to get these flag back. Eyeball Paul got a guy in front of him. Major Brickstone goes down. Very nice work. Bongman comes in and wipes him up. 
Bravo is still not contested though. We've got the last Marine still holding down for his team there. Nosey's got some snipers up here. Gonna try to pick him up so they don't have any overwatch for Bravo. And uh, he's got a man out in front of him. Picks him up, takes him down, unstoppable thumb. Goes down at the hands of the last Marine here on Bravo. Bravo is getting capped by Basso, but it's not gonna be enough. <clears throat> Boss is making a little three-man push onto, uh, onto Charlie, though, to try to grab that back. We've got, we've got Gerst up here by himself. On oh, Bravo, if I can get in there with him. We'll grab up Scorpion here. He's on the roof, so he's not contesting the flag right now. But again, the tickets are dwindling. This is going to be a close match if... Uh, if UKSF can maintain the, the burns that they've got and they're recapping Bravo yet again, they very well may take this match right out from under Boss by a narrow, narrow gap. This is, uh, it's getting intense. The tickets are closing. They're closing fast. Big Boss needs to drop down onto that flag. They need to get that Charlie flag secured. Don't know if it's going to help. Now, tickets tied 17. If nothing changes, UKSF is going to walk away with this first one with the first round on this map. Looks like they're going to get Charlie, but they are not going to get Alpha. They have too many infantry on... UKSF has too many infantry on Alpha. I don't think they're going to be able to get it. Gers taking down Keys on here. Just don't think it's going to be enough. It is not. And this one is going to go to UKSF in the first round <coughs> by 16 tickets. 16 tickets. Bravo, UKSF. Nice nice round guys nice round that was amazing <clears throat> crazy crazy good crazy good round Everybody did work on that one. Let's see what we got here. We've got Gerst <coughs> rolling at the top of his team with 14 and 17, but pulling in, getting the MVP for his team, even though they didn't win with the 9,000 points. I bought Paul. I followed him for a little while doing some work. Jack of Dan, 23 and 19, doing some work. Foxhound. Cambo doing major work in that chopper for his team. <coughs> really, really impressive round. Really, really impressive round. Next round is coming up. Boss has got to beat them by 16 tickets or more. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is a problem. We've got a map situation here. Looks like Locker is what they're going to. And it should be another round of Siege. So we will see how they play this out. <coughs> we'll see if they start bailing out or if they're just going to kind of roll with it or how they want to do this. Yeah, it was hurting Boss not fighting on the burn that last round for certain there at the end. It looks as though they may be backing out. Yes, they they are going to back out. It looks as though they are going to back out um, and probably get this reset up. Yes, indeed. That looks like is what is going to happen. So, I myself am going to back out as well and jump back in in just a second. I'm going to take me a quick little break, grab me something to drink, and I'll be back and we'll hit the second round of Siege up shortly.
All right, let's see if we can <coughs> jump back in here and see if they've got it all figured out. Got that map back up. That was an amazing round for those of you that just missed it. Um, UKSF come back and won with 16 tickets left. That was very, very impressive. Lots of good work. We will have the shoutcast posted on the website, and you can see it. Fox uh, Foxhound, man, did some serious work for his team in the bottom of Alpha. That was a game changer right there. Um, despite the fact that Big Boss took their chopper at one point, took uh, UKSF's uh, Little Bird, uh, didn't matter, man. Uh, medium bloke doing work in that chopper, lost it. They come back, ended up getting their chopper back. Way to way to target the chopper and uh, and make sure that they that they main con maintain control of that chopper. All right. Let's see what we got here. We've got UKSF in blue now. And Big Boss in red, I would imagine. That is correct. What's the scoreboard looking like? Very quick transition. That's what I like to see, having people having their teams in order, ready to go. Um, so let's see what happens here. They're about to kick it off again. And Hitman, Hitman said, you know, we got a statement from Hitman. He said that they were going to give them a run for their money, and they most certainly did. They most certainly did, uh, especially on that map there. So we will see how it plays out this time. Uh, last match, it seemed like a boss took a little while to get their chopper up, up to the flag, up to the Bravo flag. Um, looks like they're moving in a little bit quicker now. Let's uh, let's go ahead and see if we can jump in with one of these choppers here. Cambo's going to drop some guys off on the Charlie flag and instantly move up to Bravo. Got him a couple of guys in there ready to go too. I believe that Medium Bloke is going to be flying their chopper and he's already going to be up above him. And he is, but he's going to get the back of him and start getting shots on him instantly. He's rolling the 7.62 minigun and the Heat Seekers. And it's a battle right now, a chopper battle going on. He's going to pop those ECMs. Oh, he kills Medium Bloke out of the chopper, windows him, but Medium Bloke goes ahead and takes the chopper out. And it doesn't look like Medium Bloke had anybody flying with him. And there goes that chopper just floating to the ground. They see Scorpion getting dropped by Raptor. Absolute king, it looks like. UKSF has, has got an early cap on him. But boss is, uh, boss is fighting on the burn here. On Bravo. And they are taking it. Absolute king. king. Running the SR-91 with the FLIR scope. Green laser light, not sure about that. Straight pull and flash hider. Interesting setup, but it's working for him, so. And looks like UKSF is gonna do it again. They're gonna come off to an early lead with the two bases. Absolute King picking two off, getting the two-piece Kiza and the last Marine. And but it's 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 not helping them. They're not they they do not maintain control of the flag. Eyeball Paul uh, holding for his team, knows that there's guys up there, but they're holding the flag, so there's really no reason to do anything about it until now. Now they're going to start burning it. Doesn't see Absolute King there on the corner and pays for it. Absolute King go ahead and gets the pickup on him. Oh, no. Last Marine suicides himself in some weird way. I don't know if the can come back and hit him in the head. <coughs> he is rolling that shotgun. Takes out Gertz. Trying to get some shots on the chopper. He gets dropped by Thumb. And it looks like Big Boss is going to start burning that. However, there is a tank. Oh, no. We're going to miss the C4 Jeep. Does he get it? He does. He does. Niger comes in with the C4 Jeep. Unable to see it, but saves his base right here on uh, on Charlie from the enemy capping it. Nice move by, uh, by Niger there to come in and... Uh, Unable to get through the glass ceiling, that's interesting. Uh, to, to hold the base for his team so that they can maintain the two cap and start burning back. UKSF still still maintains a lead, but uh, they're going to, Big Boss is going to start burning unless they lose control of this flag, which they are. We've got Medium Bloke, I'm sure, in that chopper doing some work. See if we can't jump in there with that bad boy. 
No, it's Kiza. Medium bloke running shotgun. And UKSF is going to maintain the two burn. They are losing Alpha currently. But it's just one guy. It's one guy, Rad Dad Ducky. Going to go Rambo for his team. Gets a one piece here. Gets Foxtrot. Or Foxhound, excuse me. It's going to pick that up. Dead Eye at fail. What? What's failing? Got another guy in front of him. Rad Dad Ducky going down. Smithy Ball takes him out. Boss decides that they, they can't fight up there, so they're gonna they're gonna go ahead and try to bring this tower down. I mean, uh, that's a pretty smart move. It looks like they're about to get the three cap on them if they're not careful. We got hell spawn here. Unable to pick up the guy right in front of him. NDA Gers go ahead and picks him off. Andy helping his team out on Alpha. Bravo building is gonna go down. UK SF is gonna send a ton of dudes down to Charlie. Oh, it's bringing the tank in now. Scorpion rolling the gun seat on that. Again. <coughs> Where are we going in this elevator? Must be on. Yep. On top of Charlie. Going to try to clear that off. Absolute King picks up one and another. Jocker Khan and Saunders goes down at the hands of Absolute King. But they still do not maintain the bases. Gers is going to make a push on Bravo for his team. <coughs> Gerst doing all right this round. Three and two, staying positive. Got that helo above him. Going to try to get it with that rocket. Unable to line up a shot. Staying on the burn, though. Going to get the burn for his flag. He's got some help from Double D here. That chopper's circling, looking for him, unable to find him. Taking some shots. He's gonna go ahead and bail out of there. Eyeball Paul, getting some overwatch for his team. It's gonna pay off, they're gonna maintain the burn on that flag. And it uh, looks like UKSF is just laying it down on boss this time. Ah, oh, I did miss the C4 Jeep, it was so gay. So gay that I missed that. Boxhound again in that tank, not under, is he underground? No, he's not. There he goes. He's going underground now, right on top of people. Talk about a surprise. Takes out unstoppable bomb and bong, man. And uh, just maintains Alpha right there with a heavy presence. Oh, we've got some chopper work going on. Cambo getting up behind keys in that chopper. Should be an easy pick, and there he goes. Getting some help from Silver Dag with that stinger. And, uh, dropping him gonna grab up some repairs and hopefully do some work this could uh this could help turn it around getting that chopper out of there they really need to go support bravo they don't have anybody on bravo um but they're pushing alpha uh, i don't think this is going to be effective i mean he, he may be able to hover cap this but oh there we go he dropped two guys off that's gonna work that's that that's that's what needs to happen bravo well played well played Cambo going to go in, pick up the stragglers. The rest of them doing some work. The Rad Dad Ducky on there as well. He's going to fall off of the base. He's still got... Silver Dag's got infantry coming in on him, though. I sure hope Cambo comes back and supports him in that chopper, and it looks like he's going to. Because he's got multiple infantry moving up on him. They're going to try to snake that base out from under him, and he's going to need that support. But he's getting locked. Can't do anything about it. UKSF is going to come in with uh, with heavy infantry on Bravo. Take this thing, take this base back, move around and get in the flank. Taking some shots, unstoppable thumb moving in. What? Oh, Boss has got the two cap now. They've got Alpha and Charlie. If they can maintain that, they can whittle them tickets down. UKSF has a commanding lead though right now. They are... Uh, <laughs> they are up by over a hundred tickets. I um, mean, in Conquest Small, that's a lot of tickets uh, to be up by. So, so they're gonna have to do some serious work uh, to maintain control of these bases. 
Here on Bravo, unstoppable thumb. Got a tank down. Down inside. Bottom. Gonna be fought down. Doing work again. He picks up a, a medium blow. Gets another one. <coughs> gets a revive right up in on that tank. They don't know they're there. It's gonna get C4'd. And he does. He takes it out. So boss is gonna maintain that flag. However, they are losing Charlie. Infamous Stalin is pulling in in the tank. We've seen him as a tanker before. He does very, very well. So, uh, they're going to need to, to gain control of Charlie again, or they're not going to have a chance at all um, at holding this flag here. He's trying not to get c forward, but at the same time, they're not on the burn. Got some infantry in there on the burn, um, and that should help them out. But UKSF just has too many guys on there, too many guys on the burn. They've got guys on the roof. They've got guys on the burn. Um, they're doing work. We've got a sniper up on the roof here. If he's rolling C4, that could be a problem. Last man is. He picks up Nemesis off the second floor, and they've just got a lot of guys. A lot of guys on Charlie, so it's going to be hard for them to tap Charlie. Looks like they've got some infantry moving up. Silver Dag is holding in the bottom right there. He's in the rolling in the, the Jeep there. But they're they are gaining the flag. They are gaining the flag. They've got a tank and a jeep there. Looks like they've got one feet beater. It's going to be... I'm not 100% sure who their feet beater is. But they've got two four guys running up on them. Takes out you. You know the spell. Still got contacts out there. Just a hard fight. UKSF is not giving it up. They are not going to let them have this flag. Stalin can do some work in that tank, but he just does not have the manpower to burn the flag. So UKSF is going to maintain control of the Charlie flag. Stalin's going to going to be in trouble if he does not get out of there. He needs some more infantry support. Perfect back shot on that tank. Just barely misses. Taking some shots from the ground. Got an infantry down there, but it's not going to be enough. Boxhound coming around to get the flank on Stalin's gonna get it. Stalin is hurt. Stalin is still out of his tank running around. He gets taken down by Boxhound coming in, taking out that tank. That is a devastating blow for uh, for Big Boss. But however, Big Boss has a big presence on Bravo right now, and nobody to contest it. Looks like Silver Dag's taking shots from a distance. Probably the 50 cal on that gun. Not 100% sure about that. Got a contact just parachuted in right on top of him. Swimming in the water times too. Gets dropped by him. Silver Dad going down by Hitman. On the Bravo flag. DMB also pushing the Bravo flag with the shotgun. Heavy USF chase force on the... Or USF... UKSF force on the... Uh, on the Bravo flag again, retaking it. DMB taking out Cambo there with the shotgun. A few rounds from his buddy. Oh man, Big Boss so has a big flank on him. Double D coming in. He's got three out front. Takes one down, gets dropped. Bong man on Bravo sees that it's contested, looking for some snipers on the roof. Kind of holding his position. Got air support now from from Niger. Niger up in the air, holding it down. Boss is going to grab the control of that flag again. If I'm not mistaken, though, Foxhound. No, the Hitman. Hitman staying on top, staying on top of Alpha, not dropping down like Foxhound did. But uh, going to go ahead and burn that flag and maintain it. Still fighting on Charlie as hard as ever. Looks like UKSF Foxhound is very versatile with his tank, pulling it right up onto Bravo. Difficult maneuver, in my opinion, to pull that flag up on a Bravo like that. But um, nonetheless, he's, he's going to get it up there and get it done. Rolling the staff shell. Sabo, auto loader, active protection, and thermal. Uh, not a bad loadout, if I do say so myself. Boss is going to be fighting hard on Alpha. Looks like Boss is going to maintain Alpha. That tank just cannot, uh, cannot hold up against those uh, all that infantry. Looks like they're also going to grab Charlie. They are down by over 150 tickets easily. But they have the two cap now and they could maintain the burn, but looks like they're going to start abandoning Charlie and falling off to Bravo and that's not going to help them out very much. So 
some weird sounds going on with this guy here. I don't know what that's about. But yeah, they're going to fall off and they're going to lose Charlie right out from behind them. And that's not going to do them a lot of good. Uh, just trading off one flag for the other. They are, however, secure in Bravo, and they've got a strong presence on Alpha. But they do have two tanks on Alpha. It looks like, uh... I'm not 100% sure what happened right there. No, they took... They took... They took the tank out. We've got Scorpion in here with C4 looking for that tank. I'm assuming that tank is going to be downstairs. Well, it looks like it's gone. Looks like Big Boss is going to grab Alpha and Bravo. They're quickly losing Bravo, though. I think they're just a little too thinned out. Eyeball is pushing up onto Bravo right now. Looks like he's rolling the Ace-23. Laser sight, heavy barrel, angled grip. And he is burning it for his team. He's just got a couple of guys on this flag. Or did have a couple of guys. One behind him. He goes down at the hands of uh, Nigert. Nigert still up. Multiple contacts around him. He goes down. Andy drops him. Rad Dad Deck, you pushing up in, maybe get the flank on him, but you never know. They've got a lot of infantry uh, here on, here on Bravo. Guy right on him, Rad Dad Deck, you go ahead and picks up the kill on Handy. Rolling the Scar H. Got some more backup. They're going to start burning the flag. I just don't think it's going to be enough, though. They're going to have to grab this and dedicate some forces to two flags in order to maintain control of these to burn the tickets back down. It's not out of the realm of possibility, but it is uh, it's really leaning toward um, UKSF at this point. So NDA Gerst over here. He's got multiples out in front of him. Didn't get one. Doesn't get the two-piece. Guy is hurt, I'm sure. Playing it smart, dropping back. And, and this is pretty much all she wrote. UKSF showing a strong, strong debut match here on Hardcore League. HardcoreLeague.co for those of you that don't know. Is who's putting this match on? Amazing, amazing match so far. Right there. So, UKSF takes the second map, and we will be moving to the tiebreaker off locker. Foxhound doing a lot of working in for his team in that tank, 17 and 12. Cambo again doing work in the chopper, 23 and 11. Unstoppable Thumb on the ground with his squad doing a lot of work. UKSF just did a really, really good job there. Where looks like they're leaving. I'm not sure why. Not sure why. Maybe there's a there's a map problem possibly. Well, we'll bounce out though as to not cause them problems, and jump back in here in just a second. But that <clears throat> has been an amazing round so far. Amazing match uh, between the two teams. See what is going on here. Oh, uh, they just did one round of Siege of Shanghai. See if they get that switched in just a second. <clears throat> Not sure. 
what is going on here, but we will see. Okay, looks like they're going to be resetting the lobby. Is what they're going to be doing. So... Yeah, it looks like they're going to be moving to uh, to op locker. We'll try to get this. They're resetting the server. Still haven't got it set up. Should be any minute now, and we will jump in there. Real good matches so far. Real good matches. The tiebreaker is uh, really going to determine what's going on. No time. Yeah, so far, Big Boss has, uh, Big Boss took the first round, both rounds, won about 200, 207 tickets the first time, just come out and really wreck UKSF, and then the second round, UKSF come out a little stronger, and, uh, and Big Boss only won by 90, then the second match was epic, it was epic, <coughs> Big Boss lost, by 16 tickets to UKSF, 16 tickets, they come in and uh, worked them. And then UKSF apparently found a weakness in their armor and exploited it the second time around and won the second round by 141 tickets. So, right now it's 1-1. Big Boss took the first map, UKSF took the second map, and we are just waiting for these bad boys to, uh, to get this server fired back up so we can go, here we go, go to Locker. And see what's going on. Looks like they've got it password protected, so we will have to get that password there. Um, to the server. Good matches, though. Good, good matches. See if we can. Get this thing fired up here. Should get that password at any minute. Yep, third round, boss on locker.
Hello. Hey, do we know the password, Mason? To the new server. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Um, I don't have Hitman on my on my friends list. Now, Mason, where this would not be a draw under the rules; it would be a forfeit, would it not be? Yeah, that's that's kind of what I thought as well. I mean. Yeah, they, uh, yeah, they, uh, and everything started at the, at the correct time, so. Yep. 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 Oh, no, that's sad. That's very, very sad. They put up a super good fight against Boss. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Yeah, yeah. I, re I really hope they don't... Uh, hope they can get some guys on to, to finish this match out and don't forfeit. That's uh, That's no good. I get some ringers in there for him. Yeah, we still, we still <laughs> hmm? Well, for those of you watching my stream, where it appears that UKSF may may not have enough guys to uh, to play the last round, which would result in a forfeit, which is very unfortunate considering the comeback that they mounted on. Siege was very, very impressive. Um, I would hate for them to take a loss just due to time, but I mean, that's kind of what happens, you know, when you schedule a match and don't ensure you have enough time to play it. Did you invite Stalin into the party? Uh, you can. Uh, I just added him. You can try to invite him back. That's a bummer. That's a big bummer. Yeah, it doesn't look like he's online. He maybe he's set the offline now. Yeah, yeah.
Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a very, very unfortunate, very unfortunate. Well, guys, um, yeah, yeah, super, man. That makes, that makes me very sad. I was super excited to see this, the, the, the locker match. I mean, it was going to be intense. I feel, I feel like they both had good sets of guns. You know, it was shown on, uh, uh, on both maps and, uh, I thought Locker was going to be an amazing match to uh, uh, to spectate, and so I'm very, very sad that 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 went down that way. However, we'll be shoutcasting another match at 7:30 this evening. It's been pushed. I don't know if you found out, Mason. It's been pushed uh, to uh, 7:30 Central Time. Yep, and. PHR and enjoy. Now, I, I, I spoke to uh, PHR. I spoke to PHR Boyle, and he said that uh, they played NGO a little while back and lost to him, so they're looking to redeem themselves. About four or five months ago, NGO beat PHR, so they're... Yep, I'm, uh, I'm also shutting down my stream, guys.